Think all charging cables are the same? We need to talk. Dave Taylor here and I want to talk about charging cables and chargers. Now, this is probably not something you spend a lot of time thinking about, but if you're like me, you end up buying lots of charging cables because they vanish, they break, people take them, you forget them or lose them, so you end up keeping like new ones coming into your system. And the thing is, they're not all the same. So. Here's what I want to demonstrate is I want to show you that the rating of the power cable makes a big difference to ensure that you're getting the maximum out of your charger that you possibly can. And for this test, I'm going to use two Apple chargers. This is the Apple 61 watt charger. It's USB-C coming out. And then this is the Apple 87 watt charger, also USB-C. I have a MacBook Pro and on your Mac, this is something worth knowing, go into About This Mac, then click on System Report, and then find Power on the left and it will show you the actual power coming into the computer for a charge. Now, it can be a mismatch and that's the issue here. Now, I have three cables. I have, I'm pretty darn sure this is my original Apple cable. It is a very modest and old and dirty white cable, USB-C on both ends. This is a USB-C to USB-C two meter charging cable from JSAUX. And I get these because we use a lot of them and my kids use them. So these are 60 watt charging cables, so they don't tell you that. And it's two of them for 10 bucks. So that's pretty hard to beat. And then I thought about it and I said, hmm, I have an 87 watt charger. And if I have a cable that's only rated for 60 watts, I don't think I'm getting a full charge out of it. So I bought this. This is the Uni 100 watt three meter fast charge cable. And it's definitely more expensive. It's $13.99, again, USB-C on both ends. So it's $13.99 instead of five bucks. But what's the difference? Well, let's find out. So here's how I tested. I tried each charger and each cable, plugging them into the computer and then restarting the system report because it's stuck on whatever it's set to and whatever your computer's doing when you launch the program. There's no refresh option, so you have to quit and start again. So not a big deal. Here's what I found out is that if I'm using the 61 watt charger, this is the smaller charger, I get 60 watts of power whether I'm using a fancy expensive cable or whether I'm using the original cable that came with the Apple or whether I'm using this low budget cable. So, okay, if you have a 60 watt charger or something around there, this, like I said, is 61 watts. And by the way, you can see it's written on the edge. Here's a close up. It tells you the wattage of the charger. Not all of them do that. Sometimes they give you voltage and amperage, but you wanna look at your charger's maximum wattage because that is the optimal amount of power being you know, delivered to your laptop or tablet or whatever it is you're trying to charge. So if you have a 61 watt charger, buy the cheapest cable you can. It's gonna work fine. You're gonna get all the power you need. If, however, you have a larger or more powerful charger like this 87 one, and again, here's the close-up 87 watt charger from Apple, then here's what happened is that this 60 watt inexpensive budget USB-C charging cable gave me, surprise, 60 watts, as you can see right here. But both of these gave me 86 watts when I used them with the 87 watt charger. Now, I can sacrifice one watt, whatever, <laughs> but think of that difference. So if I'm using this cable instead of this cable, I'm getting, what, about 35% more power? So that's significant. That means that everything's going to power faster. It's going to come to a full charge faster. It's just better for your system. And frankly, you're using your charger to full capacity, which is a good thing. 
And here's what's really worth noting is that the latest generation of MacBook Pros from Apple come with, yes, I'm not kidding, a 96 watt charger. So everything's bumping up to that 100 watt level. So that's when it's gonna be really important to have a fast charge rated 100 watt cable. Now, I assume the cable that will come with the 96 watt charger will support 96 watts, but you know, if you need to buy extra cables Get your budget cables if you're just using a lower power charger. That's totally fine. Just get them based on color, and I like the braided design. I really like this cable. We have a lot of these in my house. Um, but if I'm using a bigger charger, then that is actually not my best friend. That is getting in the way of me charging effectively, and that's where something like this comes into play. So spend your effort, make sure you understand the chargers that you're using, and then make sure you have the best possible cables for those chargers so you get the best possible experience. Seems really basic and easy, right? But I'll bet you buy cables based on color and convenience, not based on their rated power capacity. So that might not be your optimal strategy. <laughs> <laughs> so again, let me give you the rundown on the price of these things. But before I do that, can I ask if you can subscribe to my channel? It's the little red button on the lower right, a click or a tap and boom, we're connected. Great. Okay, let's go from the least expensive to the most. The least expensive is this 60 watt. And by the way, if you look at a cable and it doesn't give you a power rating, it's probably a 60 watt cable. I think that's just the basic design. So this is the JS AUX 60 watt. It's two of these two meter cables. They're really nice. They have really nice connectors on the end and they're $9.99 at amazon.com. And I'm going to put all the links in the description if you want to check these out. And then let's see, next up is this. This is the Uni 100 watt fast charge three meter USB-C cable. And this one definitely feels thicker and heavier, right? And this is a more heavy duty cable. It is $13.99, it's a really nice cable. And I really like, again, that braided design. And then finally, the most expensive, but those of you that are Apple fans know Apple's always the most expensive, this very modest looking little Apple two meter white USB-C charge cable is $19 at the Apple store. So, you know, you can get this if you're really a diehard, but honestly, I think this is a better cable and it's longer and it's rated for the same amount of power. And it's, I don't know, two thirds of the price instead of that full 19 or $20. So those are your choices. Check out my description for links if you wanna get better cables because you have a big charger. And remember, as you move into the future, pay attention to the power capacity of your chargers and make sure you have matching cables. That's all I got. I hope to catch you in my next video.